recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA. It's the William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery and the devious Casey Rocket. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Jr. Dancers. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Casey Rocket. And now here he is, the big red machine, the Memphis Strangler, William Montgomery. But then I tried to do a robot impression and no one liked it. <laughs> no. Yeah, how did yours actually go last? Did your set go good, I would imagine? Yeah. My set was great. And everybody cheered and they go, we like it. <laughs> That's wonderful. We like we, it. It's cool to us. We actually want to see more of it. <laughs> and um, so everybody smile. And cool. then I'm like, is it time to start riffing? So I, I try to riff a little. couple laughs. I said you ate an apple tag. That's why you weren't there, because you were sick, because you ate like an air tag. Love it. Okay. Classic. Do people laugh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> they get this, fallen. This is a bit of <laughs> comedic wit on my part. Uh, yeah, they thought it was funny. Cool, cool, I, cool. Talked about us being in Utah. I said I we were doing like truth or dare, and you ate an apple tag. Everybody <laughs> laugh. Um, <laughs> whatever. It doesn't sound very funny now, but in the moment it was kind of funny. But then Kim Cogden said that I'm like AI if it got wet, and I said like what like wet like sexy like wet wet, and uh, I said like wet wet, and then um, I said this is my impression of AI if it's wet, and then I went like. Oh yeah, that feels so good. Like, <laughs> no, one, like no one really liked it. I was really embarrassed. But well, that was good. Whatever. Yeah, just AI being wet. That well, feels. That's that was the problem I felt is that because the first part is like not a very robot-y sound, but then you go into the more robot sounding part. For sure. But they heard the first part and they're like, no, the, you know. Yeah, like, you got to give it a chance to warm up. I got to get to like more articulated words. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, that feels so good, baby. Yeah. That's <laughs> it's really good, and they didn't give me time to show that, and it was it honestly made me kind of upset because Kim was like, "You've never sounded less like a robot," and I was like, "You have no idea what you're talking about." She I was like, said that I was like, to your ass. You have no idea. You sound like a fucking psycho. <laughs> yeah, you hey, don't hey, understand. Kim? <laughs> hey Kim, eyes, you sound fucking crazy right now. Hey Tony, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I'm backing out. <laughs> These people are mean. They're not giving me a chance. They don't like robots. They just more Santa. <laughs> yeah, I was doing Santa stuff. You did a little Santa stuff. Did you do? Did I hear you do one Santa thing in Utah this past week mm. for one of the sets? I was talking a little bit about Santa. Yeah, a little. Grant, are we recording? We are. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was I ate shit so bad when we were in Utah on Saturday. I was trying to crab and I fell down full fall down like oh, and <laughs> I was I was crabbing and my foot caught some carpet. The key is to do small steps. I was excited, so I was doing big steps. Big mistake. My foot caught a little carpet on stage, and it's funny when you're on stage and you're falling down. I don't know if it happens to you often, but <laughs> things kind of slow down. Like I had time to fully think as i was falling like oh yeah like i'm gonna fully fall down right now <laughs> and i felt Damn. like on this guy like in the off the stage row, there's a little guardrail maybe two feet high like where people have drinks by the stage and i fully fell onto it yeah oh. people were sitting the sta yeah. the seats were like right up like on the shit. stage oh my God. and i kind of grabbed this guy's hair and i was like why did you do that it is embarrassing. Yeah, I was walking yeah. back in there after having smoked or something, and then I see Casey. I think I saw it when you hit the freaking yeah. guy, and I was like, oh, my God, what's going on? <laughs> and then it was really silent, and then I had everyone do a WWE clap. Like, I was, like, Hulkamanian, like, getting up. Oh, that was good. That's that was smart exciting. Instinct. Yeah. <laughs> Saved it last second. Damn right. <laughs> Yeah, and some dude turned off the lights during my set. <laughs> what the hell? What's the going on? Fucking out there? lights went off. I know. Dangerous. And place. then I said it was my birthday. I think it was the funniest thing I've done in a while. I said immediately say it's my birthday, and then just explain to everybody I said that because I thought it was a mass shooter, and they might not <laughs> kill me if they think it's oh, my birthday. Let's let him live. <laughs> oh come, man, that stinks. I couldn't do that to him on his birthday. Exactly. That's where that's my kinda, head that's went. That's pretty smart. How old are you turning? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, but that's the Mormon people for you. Well, yeah, we had some Mormons in each mm-hmm. show, it sounded like. I was giving a shout, give me a shout out if you're Mormon, and it was a handful of people every show. <laughs> well, thank y'all for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> yeah, I did that. So I did that for the final three shows. Are there any Mormons in the crowd? Yeah. Thank y'all for coming. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to give a shout out to the sweet man, uh, Mitch. The Mitch. guy, he, some guy drove us to and from the airport, which was very sweet of him. Mitch. Mitch. Mitch, thank you so much, and thank you for the... Uh, Lunchables. Lunchables. <laughs> happy birthday, Mitch. Happy birthday, Mitch. It's happening sooner than you think. Yes, Mitch. It is your now your birthday. Oh, uh, was it him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mitch McConnell. Mitch yeah. McConnell. I thought he was Kentucky, but I guess he is Utah. Hey, Grant, will you throw up a picture of Gary Oldman in the movie Hannibal? Um, and kind of do a side by side comparison because it's actually pretty startling. <laughs> we'll do. With Mitch McConnell? Yeah, with Mitch McConnell. <laughs> it's actually pretty, <laughs> it's, it's pretty startling. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. All of these images are like um, <laughs> blocked. I'm not allowed to see them. Um, they're, they're, oh, they're, oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, you, yeah. You're gonna need a. You're gonna need clearance. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna need Q clearance to get to those. <laughs> Parental approval. You're gonna have to bypass data frame. Yeah. <laughs> There's and some also, please grant. Oh yes. The oh guy my God. Got Doesn't by the pig. Kind of looks like Mitch McConnell. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah. <laughs> so to get scary. eaten by a pig. I think the guy does yeah. on the left, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. And do you have the guy's back on Red Dragon? I always like that oh, yeah. guy's back. It's oh, really strong. Do you can you find the guy's back <laughs> tattooed back on Red <laughs> Dragon? It's really muscular. It could, Ralph Fiennes, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, is that who that is? Yeah, and it's hot. He's getting with the blind mm-hmm. chick. I always thought that was real hot. <sighs> the dragon. Yeah. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Philip Seymour Hoffman's freaking out. <laughs> oh fuck. I forgot he was yeah. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Full circle. He's in it. And he's from Rochester, Miles. That's where Philip Seymour Hoffman's from? That's mm-hmm. where he's Not from. Not Snicknacktucky? Snicknacktucky? Yeah, Snicknacktucky. Isn't that from Snicknacktucky? Yes. Whoa. See, I remember his back looking more, like, strong. Stronger, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think they do a close-up in the... I think they do a closer shot in the... You can see the definition. Yeah, Would y'all sure. get that? Um, maybe. If maybe. you wanted me maybe. to. Yeah. I always didn't like that it didn't really look like a dragon. That kind of upset me. And then Philip Seymour Hoffman. has horns. It's such it's funny horns, acting. Because sure. he's just freaking the fuck out about the tattoo. And it it doesn't really fit like what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah <he's>, <laughs> <laughs> and all he's doing is just like, <laughs> like, like flexing his back. What does he end up lighting his ass on fire? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yikes. <laughs> that's, 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 that's pretty funny seeing a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Miles, do you have any tattoos? Uh, I do. I have one little tattoo. Where is it? What is it, a daisy? It's, it's, a, it's on my shoulder. <laughs> oh. It's uh, a tattoo of a little anchor. It's a little tiny anchor. A little s- time in the Navy? <laughs> No, not oh, even, okay, not okay, even a little bit. Okay. I was, I was, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> never even, I didn't even know what that was. Okay, <laughs> for a while, <laughs> the to, Navy. to what age, you think? <laughs> <laughs> About tw- 23, I found out that there was uh, those people on those boats, huh? Okay, <laughs> mm-hmm. I thought it was just a thing that people sang and dance and old movies. I, I didn't like know they still did the Navy sailors I'm sure, with those hats, yeah, Cost- uh, Costanzas, Abbott and Costanza. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been George Casanza. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why did you get the tattoo then? <laughs> what does it represent? Oh, uh, I was getting uh, tattoos with my buddies. Uh, we're like, I had a group of friends, and we we're gonna. That's yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> actually, actually, almost exactly like that. You're my anchor. <laughs> yeah. And and we were, we were really drunk on Sixth Street, and we went to this tattoo place, and we got tat. We were gonna get tattoos about that size. I paid eighty dollars for mine. Too much. And. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my other buddy, my buddy couldn't get one because he was too drunk and he threw up all over the tattoo parlor that made us leave. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh, so he was like next in line, but yeah. he barfed. Yeah. He barfed all the stuff <laughs> and they're like, you guys got, he already paid for it though. He never got it. What? That's crazy. He didn't even get a refund? They didn't even get a refund. Well, they need well, to he go did yak everywhere. They need to go and judge Millian. Judge Millian? He'd sort that out. People's Court. Was that, was that a show? 
Yeah, the People's Court. Oh my gosh, it's all on YouTube. You're in for a great treat. They what? have every single episode on YouTube. Judge Million. Really great. Yeah, Marilyn Million. She's a spicy Latina <laughs> judge. Mm-mm. But she's really good. And she's Damn. really smart. And she likes to say, Kiana Smas Macho. She likes to say little spa- uh, little terms in the other in Spanish. I don't know Guinness, what that is. Does that Guinness mean macho who, is, macho? who is more manly? Is that what that mean? Ma- Ooh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah who's Smash more? Who's Isn't more, that what that means? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> who's more manly? Yeah. Oh, there she is. Oh wow, that's definitely yeah. Goodness. Judge Marilyn. Yeah, she's got the light of justice in her eyes. She's looking <laughs> for the truth. <laughs> nice yeah. hazy film over there, and pretty scary. What did you say? Yeah, she's wonderful. Kenis Masmatra. Kenis Masmatra. Oh, God. <laughs> so, Miles, what have you been up to? Thank you so much for coming on the show today, by the way. Greatly appreciate you. How are you doing? How's th- how are things going right now? Things are going pretty good. Uh, I, uh, I've i been, been picking up a lot more vomit than uh, usual. That's going up. It's been going up. Uh, at the store, at the, at mothership. the uh, mothership. Yeah, at the mothership, working there, door guy. They say they call they call it. A lot of people are afraid to run out the fire. I don't, I don't, I don't freak out. I've always had that in me. Well, you really? run towards it. <laughs> 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 I, run t- <laughs> I never freak out. I always. It's just something I've been born with, and and banana. <laughs> oh, <laughs> somebody pooped in little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So when was the last time I? Saw, when was the last time someone vomited? It's been happening a bunch. Oh, it happens all the time. I've been telling them to get like breadsticks on the menu or like, uh, <laughs> yeah, crazy <laughs> bread, crazy, crazy, bread. Bread. crazy bread, crazy bread, crazy sticks, yeah, uh, some simple, <laughs> hot and ready. Can yeah. I get you hot and ready? <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all have? Like sawdust you put on top of it, or what do you put on top? Yeah, of Yeah, the they vomit? got like this crazy. They got this crazy, uh, uh, like kinetic sand almost that like. <laughs> It just absorbs it. <laughs> so then you can just sweep up the sand and yeah. it all comes up? Yeah, it's actually not as gross as it seems. Oh, yeah, that's not horrible. Yeah. It's, it's much grosser. And then you once you do that, it's like, it's just sand. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> kind of separate yourself from it. Yeah. Somebody barfed during Holtzman's show last week, and they yeah, left the barf. Because didn't you put the that sand on it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you're very close to this ordeal. <laughs> I'm talking to the perfect person for it. Yeah, it was in such a precarious position, so close to the cargo. We call Holtzman cargo. Okay. Um, so close to, like, um, <laughs> operative zero that we couldn't do anything with the puke, so it just sat there for, like, an hour, right? Yeah. It just, yeah, it just sat on the table. Yeah, I just, I just I, yeah, I, just, I, just, I, don't, I don't know what's, you know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to do? Just go, sorry, guys, I'm, there's, I'm just getting this barf behind you, just... <laughs> Watch the show. Just watch. Watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shh, watch him. So this is on the Just table. Watch. Yeah, some dude pluked all over the table. Ugh. Disgusting. <laughs> Do you get kicked out if you vomit? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just there that's a no-no. That one I say guy, you can. Yeah. You're allowed to do it if you do it discreetly <laughs> in the toilet. That's the only time. That Keep it quiet. Sense. Go to the toilet. Do it discreetly. Like Gus. Gus Fringe. Keep for sure. Breaking Bad. He was barfing. Gus. He barfed that one time because he was sick. Something like that. <laughs> Here's yeah, somebody on, piece of chicken. Somebody on Breaking Bad. <laughs> There's a whole storyline where Gus has the flu. <laughs> yeah. Is do y'all recommend yeah. me watch that? I've never seen it before. It's good. It's yeah, I good. think I want to. What he makes crystal meth and he has a brain tumor or something? Yeah. Is it no? Is it brain cancer? Some He's got cancer. some kind of cancer. Yeah. Incurable uh, cancer. And his wife and lung bad. cancer maybe. And oh. his son is totally dysphoric. Yeah. His son's all built wrong. Yeah, he's got clum. He's got clumlins. <laughs> What's clumlins? <laughs> I've heard of clumlins before. Fuck. <laughs> he's got clumlins. It's the type of laryngitis that's only given to like five kids a year yeah. if they're lucky. Affects their bones too. Yeah, it makes uh. their bones cough basically. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Is that what what's his name has an unbreakable? <laughs> yeah, he's got, he's got cough cough bone. Yeah, cough bone. Yeah, he's real. Yeah. Wait, Bruce Willis? Careful. No, isn't Bruce, no, Bruce Willis has the opposite? Oh, yeah. He, yeah, that's actually the He's polar NyQuil, opposite of Clum. NyQuil bones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, where his bones are always laying dormant. Yes. <laughs> Who is it? Samuel L. Jackson? He's the one with Yeah, uh, yeah, he he's got. Careful. Yeah, he's got a glass lung. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever broken a bone? <laughs> Never once. Really? Yeah. I saw that uh, movie Unbreakable and I was kind of like, 
Could be me. I know. Could be me. <laughs> Play my cards right. <laughs> <laughs> In that movie, didn't he like survive like a train act, like a train derailment? I haven't seen it. He like survives a train derailment, and he's just like, yeah, I just didn't get hurt. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> he just like moves on with. His, he didn't find out he's a superhero until he's like forty. I, that's like the movie. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> well, if you think about it, yeah, I mean, how many huge accidents are most human beings in where they could figure out, holy shit, like my femurs are unshatterable. Yeah, like it doesn't come up too often. Yeah, yeah. But there's, there's that one Japanese flight where they all crashed and everyone died, but I think one little girl survived. So well, maybe yeah. we could reach out to her. Maybe she's unbreakable. <laughs> yeah, I think that was a different. I think she did a backflip at the last second to oh, that, counteract the speed it was falling. Jumped at that speed. Uh, yeah, I've always, I've always wanted to try that. Like on an elevator, yeah. if you jump at the last second, you don't <laughs> <Yeah>. die, <laughs> right? <laughs> So an airplane, it's a backflip. You want to try to do a backflip. Mm -hmm. As many as you can, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you keep the cycle, it's something about centrifugal force. Yeah, I see, I see. I thought our plane was going down. We left Miles yeah. on Friday, and it was a little scary taking off. Mm -hmm. Not good. Couldn't seem to get airborne. Something was wrong. Really? A little scary. Yes, and then when we real. landed, it was really windy, and it uh -huh. was seeming like we weren't going to land right. <laughs> but it was okay. Yeah, everyone was kind of like, I don't know. Holding hands. And we were in the back section. We were in, like, the daycare section with all the little kids. Yeah, some woman comes up to Casey, and she's like, oh, do you mind switching seats? Yeah. Could, so I can be closer to my family, but it's like, the, well, you're not sitting next to your family one way or the other. So what are you even talking yeah. about, bitch? Just trying to bother me, bitch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, so, so you weren't even sitting. She just wanted to be, like, a foot closer, a foot closer to her family? Yeah. Yes. This is bullshit because her little daughter was being crazy and staring at William and he was making funny faces, making her laugh. Yeah, I was making <laughs> her laugh the whole time. Oh my God, that's a good way to go Just out. do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah do I know. what you love. <laughs> yeah, just wow. silly little faces while we're going down. <laughs> yeah. You're scaring her even more. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to die. You're in the jungle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to die? <laughs> Grant, how are you doing today? Doing great. How are you guys? Doing good. You haven't really spoken as much. What's going on? <laughs> it's not my place to speak too much. Well, mm, a little. Just, yeah, at least a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, things are good. We like him chiming in, Miles. He's our favorite. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's a little weird he's not saying anything today. What do you, what is he, what do you usually say, Grant? What, what, is he usually, what do you usually talk yeah, about? Yeah, fill us in. I, I generally just bemoan Papa John. I think that's about it. <laughs> the person or the uh, pizza? Place? Both. The huh? person. He's living with Grant. Yeah. Which is insane. Papa, Papa John, John Schnatter mm -hmm. is living at Grant's house. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like a forced occupancy, like, squatter thing. Yeah. Yeah, he's claiming squatter's rights. He's a sovereign citizen. It's mm -hmm. getting really weird. It's that's a tax crazy. thing, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Oh, he's a tax... Grant's house is a... <laughs> it's a tax haven. It's a tax haven. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bahamas. Yeah. Bahamas, Grant's apartment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slash, or house. He could have a house. I don't know. I have a house, yeah. See? Yeah, it's you, you don't get taxed when you're there. Uh uh. Grant, are people wrapping presents behind you? Sorry, I'll go back to mute. <laughs> I thought I heard somebody might be wrapping presents. Yeah, what well, it happy sounded like birthday. a <laughs> there, there's just bags opening. That's all. Yeah, do we need to oh. wish somebody a happy birthday? Is it somebody's birthday in there? You're not telling us something? <laughs> Crack that door real quick. Yeah, whose birthday, birthday is it? <laughs> you want me to just bring bring the whole birthday party in there? Yes. Please. So there is a birthday party. Birthday party confirmed. Let me uh, oh, let me change to some balloons yeah, here in the background silence. for you. <laughs> He's in the wind. <laughs> uh, I can smell a birthday. <laughs> Which, so Casey, how do you feel? So you haven't gotten sick again. I think I just have a little sinus infection, so y'all do not need to worry. But you feel okay? Because okay. we were in pretty close proximity for the weekend. I'm You're fine. okay. My nose is fine, and my face has never been better. Okay, good. You're looking good. Thank you. I have adult acne, but it's actually getting a little better. <laughs> Really? I didn't tell. Boop, boop. Good morning. Wake up call. Ding what is dong. that? You putting a little medicine on? Do you put the little medicine on? Yeah. I put my little star patches. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> little uh, Neutrogena or whatever the fuck. The pimple yeah. patches? I sleep with those. And then those I are silly. like to put them on my pupils right, and I take pictures for <laughs> Tumblr. But look, I mean, it couldn't look better right now. He's so big. I know. <laughs> <laughs> when you get that big. Scared much. 
<laughs> How'd you do that with your eyes? That was almost unnerving. I Whoa. wish it was. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do the wait, do the robot voice while you do that. Hi, baby. <laughs> Grant's house is a tax haven. <laughs> <laughs> Papa John, get is, out. Papa, you seriously got to stop. I, I ordered it the other week, Miles, and there was a red string coming out of my uh, <laughs> out of the sauce you get. I still ate the sauce, but it seemed weird that there was a red string a red? coming out of the container. <laughs> like a yarn or a wire? A yarn. Oh, my God. A red yarn was coming out of the garlic sauce. Like a dynamite? Yeah, I still ate it, but yeah, it was coming out of the garlic sauce. It was did, weird. Did you pull it and shoot it? Yeah, I tried pulling it, and then I wasn't strong enough, so then I just popped the top, and then I was able to pull it out. <laughs> you realize it's running along the entirety of the perimeter of your home? What yeah. Fuck? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Babe, start the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And my cyst is worse. Now I got Casey had a cyst on his forehead. Now I have a cyst, Miles, right here. And it, you can see it's a little red, can't you? Can you see that thing? Yeah, I can see that little guy. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It was leaking on Friday. <laughs> Stuff was leaking out of it. So then I thought I could pop it. But then I guess what I was looking up cyst. I guess whatever's inside of a cyst, you can't pop. Yeah. It's you like can't. a hard little crystal thing. It oh. won't come out unless it's cut out. Yeah. So I have to go under the knife again, probably. You see in this, Grant? Do you do you Is notice it? it? It looks worse than ever, right? I, you can see it. It's picking up on camera. Thank well, you, Grant. never has, has it? No. So. Yeah, let's get a shot of that. Yeah, so <laughs> things aren't looking good for me in that department. I'm going to have to go back to the dermatologist. <laughs> now I don't have health insurance anymore, so we'll see how that works. Wait, what happened to your health insurance? I don't think I turned applied 26. in time. Yeah, I haven't turned 26 yet, and I haven't applied in time. Damn. So, uh, I don't even know. Do you have health insurance? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't know where you get that. But you're healthy. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I don't really like insurance. I don't. I like to live my life on the edge, and just the idea of insurance is very like. I don't know. I. I want to pass. I want to just pass away, peacefully and yeah. sleep. Yeah. Or in a big motorcycle high accident, high, high speed orgy, <laughs> high speed orgy. <laughs> <laughs> One insertion, boom! It's very hard to pull off. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> yeah, I think I'd be scared to have sex on a motorcycle. Maybe if it wasn't moving. A lot of people are. Yeah, but yeah. how long have you done it? <laughs> How long, like the time period of having sex on the motorcycle, or how many times? How many like, times? Oh, several. Yeah, it's on his TikTok. But like the actual sex <laughs> scenes oh, yeah. are on the TikTok. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've been shadow banned for. Yeah, you can't <laughs> literally. It's shadow. hard to find his account, but it's on there. <laughs> <laughs> the sauce fearer. I'm the sauce fearer on TikTok. Um, okay, look him up. Yeah, I try to show people videos of me having sex on a motorcycle, and people just treat, I, I'm treated like a pig. <laughs> they treat bullshit. me like shit. Total pariah. Oh, yeah. Like, kind of like that, honestly. A little hotter, a little faster, but yeah. What is the girl, so you sit like you're, you're holding the handlebars, and the girl sits like facing towards like behind y'all? Sometimes, or, yeah. Okay. But other times, you're <laughs> facing her, <laughs> penetrating her, and she's driving. Yeah, sometimes, so yeah. Sometimes. Angular. Sometimes there's two motorcycles. Uh, well, like each leg on a motorcycle, and you are standing up? Th yeah, or, that's happened. Like yeah. Jean-Claude Van Damme style? <laughs> yeah. So you're doing a split, and you're penetrating someone, and mm -hmm. then it's very... Very hard to pull off. Yeah, yeah. that sounds impressive. Sidecar. Sometimes there's a little sidecar. Sometimes it's nice. It's just a little sidecar, and then you just somebody else is driving. It's hard enough for me to do it when I'm just even laying down. So I can't even <laughs> imagine like a motorcycle. <laughs> it's pretty tough, but <laughs> oh, man. And also for the record, it's not sexually satisfied. <laughs> Miles, if you're ever in Utah, just for the record, you cannot access Pornhub in Utah. Yeah. Really? I'm not happy to admit this, but yeah, I think it was the second night for me 
<laughs> I get on my phone just messing around thinking, ah, I'm by myself in the hotel room, whatever. I'm going to live. I'm 37. I'm only getting older. How long is this thing even going to work for me to begin? I mean, use it or I, lose use it. Use it or lose it. So, <laughs> But then it doesn't work. It says, sorry, you're in, some There's thing no comes point. up. and uh, I took a screenshot. <laughs> I yeah, took a screenshot sorry. because I also found this out. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was just, I don't know. I'm not going to get too graphic, but I was like, I don't know. I might as well look at Hub. And then there's this whole page where it says, like, Utah has a law where you would have to show us your ID to enter the website, and we don't think that's safe, blah, blah, blah. What? And uh, then I go to X Hamster, and X Hamster makes oh. you do a facial scan <laughs> so they can estimate your age. Oh, my God. And I, I did the facial scan. I was, like, smiling, like, <laughs> <laughs> about to crank, <laughs> about to crank down. I'm trying to and- mash. <laughs> Try to mash this little guy. <laughs> Had to mash my pud. And uh, <laughs> so I'm laughing about it, and we don't talk about it. And then William goes on stage, and he's like, yeah, it turns out there's no porn up in Utah. And I was like, oh, like, it's like, are you, you ever look at the moon and wonder if somebody's looking up at the same moon? Like, it was that. Just same deal. Apart. Wow. Wow. Just trying to look at the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I wasn't putting my ID in there. I wasn't going to do any of that. Yeah, wait, so it's like you got to, like, show a cop your... Does the yeah, police yeah, have they, to know? I think they come by. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. police have to know or something. <laughs> yeah. Who do you show your ID to? Like you, you have to you take t- a picture yeah, of I it. I think or you something. scan it onto your oh, phone or something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You send an email to the Utah. <laughs> Yeah, we need to. Cause so we told somebody that, and they said, yeah, there are more people watch porn in Utah than anywhere. Didn't some girl say that to us, or am I making yeah, that up? Maybe. maybe I'm making that up. Yeah. I don't know. Total kink freak. Yeah, they're horned up. Horny little <laughs> sex sexaholics. Yeah, I mean, if you suppress people long enough, they're going to become they're sexaholics. Gonna jerk off. They're going <laughs> to yeah. start cranking down. <laughs> it's like just... that commercial with the, the guy throws the, the hammer through the screen or whatever. Wait, what is that commercial? <laughs> it's like know. an apple or something. It's like an apple. The old apple, yeah. Yeah, they're like, you cannot jerk off. <laughs> That's exactly how <laughs> oh, I remember yeah? it. Oh, yeah? Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> so it was an apple commercial against watching pornography online or something? I believe so. Oh, weird. Grant, can we pull that up? Jerk this off. <laughs> yeah. <let> me... <laughs> the new eye touch. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, Apple doesn't, you probably don't know this, but the touch screen doesn't work if there's jizz on your fingers. It's actually true. <laughs> yeah, I can't recognize the heat signature. Also, the predator can't find you if you're covered in cum. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> now we're doing it. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, see, everybody would try and jerk off to her, but then they wouldn't let her. They wouldn't let her. So when was this commercial in the 80s that looks like it's from a long time ago? <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah. yeah you, you will not your... jerk off. Yeah. <laughs> You can't watch. You had to watch this old guy. If you wanted to jerk off, you had to jerk off to that old guy. <laughs> and finally, oh. a hot babe was like, "Yeah, we're jerking off to babes." I think that's what it happened. Oh gosh! I don't know how to riff. Are we riffing? I think we still are. Yeah, we still are. <laughs> we got some time left to riff. Yeah, we still have time. <laughs> well, so if you are under the age of eighteen, you do have authorization. And I read the whole thing. It's like. 10 paragraphs I'm sitting there it's 3 in the morning hard as a fucking yeah. rock <laughs> half hogged yeah I got my fucking I'm idling my engine right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can't idle it for I'm too coming. long I'm coming sweetheart yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah I'm just like interesting huh it's interesting I didn't know that legislation was would passed you, put your glasses yeah. on <laughs> Yeah, then I, your readers? Sh- I show fucking F- X hamster my face like, and I smiled for real. I don't know why. I was like instinct. Was like, like, put your face in this box, and it'll take a AI picture or something and estimate how old you are. And it worked though. It yeah, but it didn't tell me what age it thought I was, which oh, I thought would be been, fun. Yeah, that would yeah, that would have been thirty nine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop! I don't really want to jerk off anymore. Yeah, <laughs> you're being me. Yeah, no, it's kind of a downer after all that. It kind of gets you out of, back out of the mood a little bit when no. it's putting off all these roadblocks. Yeah. So I just watched Edge of Tomorrow and just cranked down to Emily Blunt instead. Fuck. Had to. <laughs> <laughs> Have to. Had to crunch it. Had to crunch. <laughs> Had to yeah, crunch. I ended up watching uh, 
Spy Kids. Did oh. y'all know Jackie oh, Chan no. is in Spy Kids? Is he? <laughs> I think I think I was watching Spy Kids. Is Jackie he? Chan was in it. Is he the thumb? No, <laughs> he pretty was pretty agile. Yeah, he was on a BMX bike beating people up when I saw it. And I think it was Spy Kids because there were two kids in it. Not that that has any connection with what I was talking about. (laughs) Grant, do you know what that could possibly be? Jackie Chan? Yeah, it's the Spy Next Door. Yeah, she's hitting That's a different movie. There you go. Oh, Spy Next Door. Okay, that's what I ended up watching. But that is adjacent to Spy Kids. I could see the confusion. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I can see the little kid spies down there. Hello, Jackie. Oh, I saw one of these things. Somebody was somebody was Factor. eating one of those. They're good. They're really good. What are you talking about, Factor Meals? Yeah. Factor Meals are actually some of the better meal services I've ever tried. Probably the best one. Yeah, I mean, I've tried all miles. I've tried, you name it, I've tried it. Talking about meals, meal deals. Miss McCollum's. Miss McCarley. The Stranger Method. Yeah, Miss McCarley, the old lady next door, she ate Factor Meals. Whoa. She lived to 95, so mm-hmm. is there a connection? Yes. Yeah, she had, a, she had a, they gave her six years to live, which is a long time when she was, <laughs> when she was 40 and she made it to 95. So. Yes. Yeah. Because of Factor, it'll help you live longer because it's a bunch of nutritious stuff they give you. Mm-hmm. Factor. Nutrients and breakfast. Fa- it's a Factor. It's a Factor. Yum. They should use, you can use that. It's a fact. Factor? Or. It's a factor. Yum. But it's, it's, I'm going to be honest, it's time to work smarter, not harder. I mean, don't spend (laughs) your hours meal planning, shopping, chopping veggies, cooking, doing dishes, cutting your finger off. Don't (laughs) do that. Leave the knives at home. Factor has delicious, ready to eat meals that are chef crafted, dietitian approved, and sent straight to your doorstep. And there's, 30 over so there's not 35 there's over 35 meal options to choose from each week you'll never get bored yeah you'll never get bored yeah it's one for every day of the year yes 35 weeks switch it up the options are endless uh and there's midday stacks smoothies and wellness shots you'll be on your a game all day long Alarm clock, ding I'm, dong. I'm oh, into is that. It factor time already? Guess it is. Yum, 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 yum. Factor. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's way less expensive than takeout and takes so much less time than waiting at a drive throw. Mm-hmm. <laughs> two minutes to heat up the meal. I'm serious. I mean, dead honest. All you do is heat up the meal for two minutes and you're set to go. No prep, no cooking, and no cleanup needed. Mm, I'm getting hungry mm, right mm, now. Mm, yum. Mm, mm. Butternut squash. Head to factormeals.com slash WMS50 and use code WMS50 to get 50% off. That's code WMS50 at factormeals.com slash WMS50 to get 50% off. Yum. Mm. Thank you, Factor. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, I fell for the death hoax, the Jackie Chan death hoax. There was one. People uh, saying he died? Yeah, there was a death hoax a couple weeks ago. Say Jackie Chan died. Really? So sad. I see that about oh other people sometimes. People are doing death hoaxes often these days? I, d- I honestly guess. didn't know that. Yeah, it happens with Jackie a lot. It's a way for people to try to steal his fortune. <laughs> so, mm. so Jackie what? Chan treasure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what? Only if he's dead can people get his treasure? Yeah, his... Well, I mean, try and, you're going to try and take it from no. him? No, no, <laughs> yeah. no, no. Fair enough. No, Good I luck. totally hear you. <laughs> Best of luck, my friend. It's, it's in a yeah. It's in a it's in a really big kitchen, and you got to fight them in there. Good and there's luck. probably the knives and all kinds oh, of yeah. stuff. He's hitting you with pots and <laughs> jumping over stuff, tying your tie to stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> tying your tie to another guy's tie. Uh-huh. You guys bump into each other. <laughs> Yeah, that's bad. If you ever get your tie tied to somebody else's, don't. Both parties can't run because if you run, you're gonna knock in each other. Yeah. So you got to just stop. If I think if your tie gets caught on another guy's tie, it's funny the the aftermath of like like you know in a Jackie Chan movie like the aftermath of like the guys like all the goons they're just like because they're all like he you know he like ties them all up so you know he punches them and hits them yeah. with a fish. It's just like, dude, I don't want to. I don't let's let him go. <laughs> yeah, the aftermath. He doesn't normally kill the people, though. Aren't they normally kind of rolling around in pain after yeah, yeah, one of the just, scenes? Yeah. Oh, he batters him, though. Yeah, he yeah. breaks a lot of, like, fucking uh, these bad boys. Clavicles. 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 Yeah. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes they get off easy. Sometimes they don't. 
for sure. Just some depends. Guy, some guys do just get hit in the head with a pot. He yeah. does a lot of kitchen fighting. You're right. He does a lot of pots and pans stuff. Mm hmm. Knife throwing. Oh, Jackie Chan Adventures. <laughs> Is that a moose? <laughs> yeah, the flying moose. Is that a flying guy. moose right there? <laughs> Where is Jackie in this? In the blue sweater? Yeah. Yeah, there he is, yeah. I just, uh, why are they all, I don't, it's like a cast picture, but it's animated. (laughs) Get together, guys. Yeah, they're all like touching each other's shoulders. (laughs) (laughs) That is kind of odd, It's like SNL, like the end of SNL episode. Yeah. Well, that's good to know that he's still with us, though. People need to stop doing these death hoaxes. I can't even believe that. That seems horrible. Yeah. Just yeah. a society we're in these days. Have you ever been involved with one of those, Grant? A death hoax? Yeah, like saying your wife died or something, or <laughs> such as somebody? Not yet. Oh, my gosh. You're planning one? <laughs> well, I've heard rumors about... That you're going to do it? Certain Papa John. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Yeah, he, might, he might not be with us. Smart move. Good way to get him out of the house. He'll have oh. to fly to D.C. to clear his name. Gotta try yeah. something. Yeah. Wait, you, he may no longer be with us right now? Yeah. Because something happened, happened. recently? Well, this could be breaking sleeping. news. You did? What did you do to what, Papa John? You Papa John? He's dead? No, we, we, I didn't do anything. I'm just saying he might not be around. Uh, like literally or figuratively? or Where is he? Where is it, what's he up to? Uh, he, he's, he might not be, uh, you know with us anymore Mm -hmm. he might be dead because you killed him where is he (laughs) grant (laughs) is he still in your property i i don't think we need to look for him i think we just maybe mourn respectfully and move on well (laughs) people know he's been living with you don't look for him (laughs) (laughs) maybe just forget he ever existed (laughs) yeah it's a bygone era just mourn him respectfully go about your day (laughs) Okay, well, good to know. I'm sure that's a stress or not on your family anymore, him not being around anymore. I'm, I'm not saying this benefits me in some way that he's gone. <laughs> I feel like you're going to miss but him. But yeah. it is nice that having more free space in the house. It seems like y'all got pretty close over the last... Well, he did spend Christmas at your house, yeah. right? Yeah. It was a nice Christmas, right? Uh, it was tense. It was, uh, there was some highs and lots of lows. He got your presents, didn't he? Uh, weren't they good ones they were no, he has a lot of money yeah didn't he get y'all some nice stuff your daughter some nice stuff you would think right oh well did God. he not he did not he Is didn't get that, her anything nothing <laughs> not even a gift card no Papa John's no we don't even get we don't even get a discount did he make a pizza no oh no. my gosh i mean on christmas although he weirdly threatened threatened to make a pizza i don't know what that means <laughs> oh, weird <laughs> If you don't let me have your bedroom, I'm my pizza right now. I'm about to make a pizza. <laughs> I'm trying I don't to like see the way he's is. saying it. <laughs> it doesn't sound very bad, but he's saying it like it's going to be bad. <laughs> I'm going to make a pizza. I'm about to do <laughs> stuff crust in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to make. You don't want me to make a pizza. <laughs> I'm going to get one of the heart pizzas, though, for Valentine's Day. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. You got to place your order soon. Yes, I have already. I'm planning on doing it this afternoon. You have to do it in advance because they sell out. (laughs) Oh, for sure. That's a good idea. I might get get in on that as well. For You need to. Yeah, I think Papa John's makes the majority of their money in in February for the Valentine's Day's heart pizzas. Mm -hmm. They just coast the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. Yep. (laughs) That Valentine's Day money. You know, inward pizzas. (laughs) <laughs> for, sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure for sure they put in the do they put little strawberries on the pizza little chocolate strawberries mm-hmm. mm, yeah i think if you get a dessert version mm. yeah they have dessert versions they have pepperoni versions does that sound on the mic shakaroni mm. yeah <laughs> everybody kisses it <laughs> Pass it around. <laughs> Taylor, pizza's here. Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> Taylor's my fiance's name. Oh, my gosh. And my cousin's name. So weird. Really? Yeah. Taylor Montgomery's her name. Wait. Wait. I'm getting married. I'm going to be part of the family. That's my cousin? I didn't know you were going out with my cousin. We've been engaged for weeks. 
I knew Taylor was up to something. Taylor was telling me I knew there was some new love interest, but she wasn't telling me who it was. It's your really. I'm tired of sneaking around with Taylor. Well, we met at the ball game. I was being an umpire, and she was hitting the ball. She was a softball player. She's what? really good at softball. <laughs> oh my gosh! So you went up to the stadium. Y'all met at the stadium. Yeah, we met at the, the stadium, and then we went to the derby afterwards, and oh we bet God. on the greyhounds. What? When? Anything? I won a thousand dollars. What? <laughs> That's a good result at the greyhound <laughs> track. A thousand dollars. Took her on a date. <laughs> I took her. I said, "You you ever watch the greyhounds race? You're watching the buses race? <laughs> yeah, I was watching the buses race. It was like a demolition derby. So." It was pretty cool. We bet on Big Bus number three. It was the biggest one, which she thought would be slower. And I said, you've clearly never seen a Greyhound race. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Those things are loud, aren't they? Oh, yeah. It was... <laughs> yeah, a lot of Popeye noises. And... <laughs> it's the General Lee. Um, but, yeah, we just really hit it off. And we got a snow cone that we split. And. She had a little. She took a bite, and a little piece got on her nose. And I said, "You have something there." And I kind of knocked it off. And her nose was dyed blue all day. It was so funny. I kept calling her Rudolph. So, uh, oh my off, gosh! So. Yeah, I knew she had been acting real smitten recently. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out who the new man was. Oh my what? gosh! Is it's that new. nice? It's Is new. Nice? It's exciting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Casey, nice. they didn't. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Fiance. Fiance. Oh my gosh. It's new and it's like we're so young and we only got one shot at this thing, so why not now? You yeah, know. do it now for sure. Get married now. Start having the kids now. Yeah, I don't want to be an old dad. I just don't. <laughs> is, this, is this her? <laughs> is yeah. I still viable? Yeah. <laughs> I want to be able to play with my kids and teach them how to be wrestlers, and I can't do that if mm -hmm. I'm too old. Iron Iron Claw. Iron Claw style. Yeah. yeah, I remember wrestling with my dad one time when I was a little boy on the bed, and I fell off the bed just because I fell off. He didn't push me or anything, but we had to go to the emergency room because we thought my arm was broken, and I was telling everybody at the emergency room that my dad was wrestling with me and did it to my arm, so he was horrified. Oh, that's tough, yeah. It ended up okay, but yeah, I was trying to throw my dad under the bus. Yeah, that's, that definitely leave a, leave a mark on the relationship. It did. <laughs> It did. I regret it. Yeah. You betrayed me. <laughs> I'll call him on the phone and he'll pick up and I'll hear him breathing, but he never says anything. So at least I know it's him because I hear, I can tell it's his breathing, but he never, it's been since, yeah, since I was what, five years old. That's been the case. It's like, I need him. I need him for advice. And it just, it's just breathe, heavy breathing. I was just a kid. Yeah. It's like, I didn't even mean to do that to you. I didn't mean to hurt you. It was an honest mistake. But, yeah, just breathing under the phone. So we're dealing with that one. Well, I hope, you know, as he gets a little older, he can kind of, like, you know, come to his senses or yeah. something. So you're in your, you're in your, you're in your traitorous, your traitorous twos. Mm. Yes. That's what happens with people in their twos. Oh, they're two. Oh, I, you hate when they're two. That's when they try and betray you. That's when they, <laughs> when you're, when they're two, that's when they really start planning a, the, the coup twos. The coup totally. Two. <laughs> totally. That's recently I saw that article about the lady who stopped feeding her child. Yeah. And at first you think, oh, this is horrible. I mean, that's a little baby. How are they going to eat? But then you find out, oh, they're too. Mm -hmm. That explains. They probably they're, they're talking to the. They're talking to the, the their mom. They're like, he should not be the father. Yeah. You should truly. You should be the king. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like, trust you. The people they the people they whisper your name, mother. Uh, yeah. They whisper for your. <laughs> <laughs> for your reign. <laughs> then you just got to stop feeding them. I mean, you can't be having yeah. some little kid no. stirring up shit in the kingdom. Yeah. I mean, you have to the, the stop tr that. The treacherous advisor. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I watched Braveheart recently. I hated that piece of shit that had all the warts on his face. I know. I hated that guy. Doesn't he get thrown out a window or is it someone else? The guy, the king's son's lover gets yeah. thrown out of the window. Bye-bye. Yeah. Defenestrated. Yeah. I used to submit comedy articles to Defenestration Magazine. Mm. It means throw somebody out a window. Oh, does it? Okay, yeah, I was like about a, to ask. I, yeah. did, I was going there's along a, with there's it. There's a verb Yeah, that's a special word for throwing <laughs> someone throwing out a window. Out a window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was uh, it was a real tearjerker. I need to not watch Braveheart again. Freedom, freedom. <laughs> yeah, he breaks the chain. <laughs> freedom. That's where that song comes from, right? I, I think, think so. it is. And then I haven't cut my fingernails since uh, I was telling Casey. I'm very self-conscious about my fingernails because they're too long right now but i still haven't cut them have you were you looking at my fingernails a couple times did i see you do that did well, you I notice re- how long they were no just well no i mean i didn't want to say did anything. you think did you think it though you thought it though didn't you please tell me they the look truth. nice though they're not like dirty they're long but they're not dirty which is like, they're insane looking <laughs> i have to <laughs> cut them cut today. Can I see it? <laughs> <laughs> they're too they're long ve- that's insane they're very clean for being that long though. let me see yeah, I mean, you, they're, they're little, way too they're long. long. <laughs> well, you could do, you know, everyone always does one Mine Coke sh- nail. Mine's really dirty right now. I don't even know how it got that dirty. Is that dirt under there? I don't know around. what that is. Dig oh, it's blood. Oh, just some dried up blood. <laughs> it's from blood. the vomit you were having to clean up. <laughs> I think he's sick. Stop him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been taking a lot of Nyquil recently and having uh t- just going to just having like hellish nightmares. Hell yeah! <laughs> Does it really cause you to have bad nightmares? <laughs> yeah, I've been, well, uh. I've been sick and I've been taking it and I've just been I've been having hellish nightmares. Uh, What's just, one that stands at do does one stand out to you? I don't remember them at all. I just remember I just kind of wake up in a kind of a panic and <laughs> wake and fright. Yeah, yeah, yeah just kind yeah, of a fear. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Yeah, every time I used to drink codeine syrup, it would give me lucid dreams that were nightmares. And I would just wake up like, sometimes I would wake up crying. And then I would wake up and I'd still have codeine syrup left. And I would be like, well, I hope I can stay awake longer. (laughs) Because every time I go to sleep, it's a nightmare. But I'm not going to stop getting faded on codeine syrup. So, Uh, small price to pay. Yeah, I was I yeah. was uh, I was joking around about how like lucid said <laughs> night. Yeah. yeah, what is that? Is that just you? And yeah, then, and then and then there's another guy with a knife. <laughs> yeah, well, like I would know yeah. I was dreaming, uh, and uh, like I couldn't like make them disappear. Like the nightmare was still the more powerful force. Like I couldn't control them, but I was uh, like, I'm dreaming, but this is not going good. <laughs> oh, so you're like actually in hell? <laughs> yeah, it would just. Yikes. I had a couple where I would wake up from the dream like a scary movie my phone would ring i would look at it a hand would come out of my phone then i'd wake up for real and i was like <laughs> how long have oh i like God. i would wake up and it was like an endless cycle it was awful but coating syrup's really good <laughs> that's why i stopped sleeping on these flights that's why i've been playing my balloons tower defense six a shit ton on the flights because i was <laughs> i swear to god miles i was having these <laughs> nightmares where the plane was crashing oh my god like <laughs> literally in the plane it wasn't like some <laughs> crop dust or something i was in the plane that i was in and it was crashing it was so scary final destination did you like did you wake up and like scare people were they like people like whoa no but one day i was it was a weird kind of dream and then the guy next to me was holding my hand and touching my hand and i woke up and i'm like was he actually doing this so i was looking at him side eye the rest of the (laughs) flight like was he fucking touching me i swear it was so strange (laughs) he's like tickling my hand and stuff and i wake up and i'm like was that actually happening but i didn't tell him i didn't ask him because it's too weird yeah (laughs) (laughs) you were having a bad one (laughs) Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God. Have you had any tried, bad dreams recently, tried Grant? I kiss you. <laughs> Me? I kiss no. you to wake up. You haven't? <clears throat> no. It's been uh, pretty dreamless lately. Really? Are you smoking weed before you go to bed? No. You're Should I? Hitting the blazing. Does I, that help? I think that I think makes, it makes it so you, you don't dream, right? Yeah, yeah. It makes yeah. you not have a dream. It's, it's what I hear. Just because yeah, you're sleeping heavier? Weird. No, I think you sleep lighter, actually. Oh. So you don't, it, people always say it makes you sleep better, but it, the science says it does not. That's what yeah. scientists say. Sports but science. Those guys don't know shit about blazers. Yeah, no shit. And also, but ice, that doesn't help you uh-huh. go to sleep better. I it used to think that. just makes you pass out. Yeah. No, yeah, I don't, really when the scientists better. are doing these experiments, I don't know if they're hitting uh, fat swishers or... Rolling wood tips. <laughs> not, I, don't yeah, rolling, I don't think they're rolling. I don't think they're rolling backwards. They're yeah. not smoking. We just smoke different. So, but Grant, do you roll up with your wife like on a special occasion? For uh, does, does your wife roll your blunts? Yeah, who's rolling them at y'all's household? I prefer edible to rolling blunts. Is that oh. hmm. is that uh is that okay? Weird. 
Okay. No, I mean, yeah. Seriously? Yes. Not a so blazer. Aren't, yeah, so you aren't blazing up at home. It's just edibles. Yeah. You never go to Blazer edibles. Street? <laughs> I cough. I cough like a baby. If Blazer Street could talk. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't even. <laughs> Everybody's so racist. <laughs> Are you feeling better? What feel... has been wrong? You've just had a cough. Uh, no, I was just uh, I was sick. I you know working on Sixth Street. It's mucky, gross down there. For sure. All these you're just on top of everybody, and everybody's sick. So then you get sick. You know. Then you're using the microphone after everybody. That mm-hmm. always scares me to mm-hmm. death. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When you see the guy before, he's just like yeah. spitting all over that little number. So gross. God. That dainty little thing. He's just. Grant, do you have a picture? Look up nasty microphone. There was always a picture of a <laughs> microphone that made me want to die every time I saw it. I wonder if it comes up if you just type in nasty microphone, Grant. They, I mean, there's some. <laughs> there was one specifically that always made like I might vomit right now when I see it. If you can find Why it, are you googling that? <laughs> I don't know. I Google whatever. This is, some, this is was predicated. This guy? Yeah, oh, ah, get it all. Oh no, that's nasty. It's like a petri dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, if you well, let it, is throw. this the one? Yeah, that's disco a, ball and like Osmosis Jones. <laughs> yeah, where it's a germ. Germ at a germ dance. What if y'all picked up the microphone oh, and it looked then like Don't that? do another one. That one's even grosser. It's like fuzzy almost. Like a Petri dish. It's growing it's something a, new. A Peter dish. First time I ever went on Peter. stage, I followed the ventriloquist from Dollywood, and I remember deep-throating the microphone <gasps> at one point. I'd never been on a comedy stage before, and it was going pretty good. I was able to shit on the ventriloquist from Dollywood before me because he was horrible, and then I deep-throated the microphone thinking it was funny. Like, actually, Yeah, stuck that bad oh. boy in my mouth. <laughs> so a ventriloquist? Is it... Gross. Is there like a? It's like a residency. He's like, or is he just a ventriloquist? <laughs> he he might have had a it, residency at the open one. mic at Side Splitters Comedy Club off of I forty, because <laughs> I think it's kind of a drive from Dollywood from Knoxville. He's so, grinding. Yeah, he was grinding for sure. <laughs> grinding uh, silence. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, a lot of the times he would. He was a ventriloquist, so he would be. What, yeah, I mean, what kind of ventriloquist? Quee, quee. <laughs> <laughs> I wish what I could remember practice? specifically. This was in 07, so I honestly, it's too long now. That's too many years ago now. Right? Was it a, do you remember if it was like a person or like a creature? It was a person. Mm. It was totally a person. I don't think it was a creature or a monster or anything like that. It was, yeah, just a, mm. just a person. Jeez. You think this had anything to do with the impending housing crisis that happened in 2008? I mm. think it could, because, yeah, I mean, we're talking 07. Mortgage. You shorted it. You tried to short it? Yes. Yeah, I recently discovered, yeah, on the stocks, you can short them. You it's, can short houses? Yeah, it's a good way to lose a bunch of money, though. <laughs> All my money's gone. <laughs> All of it? Yeah, and I didn't even, I finally started making a tiny bit of money, and now it's all gone. I, I don't even want to think about it. I think that's what made me sick last night when I started thinking about it. <laughs> Listeners, houses, they're going up? Yeah, houses are going up. If y'all could just buy a couple, it would help William tremendously. Yes. Buy, I shorted houses, so buy houses. It'll help me a lot. Grant, are you in? You need a yeah. I'm in. You in, brother? <laughs> you know I'm in. What do you think, Grant? <laughs> I think it's. I, I think it sounds pretty solid. Yeah, it's a good investment. See what Papa John's. Uh, maybe tell him you don't want to buy houses. Then he might buy some. Oh, you know what I I looked up here. What'd you um, look up? Here we go. <laughs> Let me put it up on here. It seems like Papa John might not be buying anything much longer. There is a there is a site that will tell you who's alive and dead. So it's oh, <laughs> alive. Well, that's kind of just, just keeping tabs. <laughs> useful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Type what's in your it, name, what's Grant. It, what's it called? Uh, who's alive and who's dead dot com. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. That's pretty straightforward. Nobody, nobody jumped on that? No. <laughs> so yeah, I'm domain. shocked. <laughs> <laughs> who's alive and who's dead.com. Is that W H O apostrophe S? It is. No, no apostrophe in the URL. So it's not even grammatically correct. No. Hmm. Pisses me off. Yeah, it's yeah. like that's like ownership. Who's 
Or is it just W H O S? W H O S, yeah. Oh. There's not even an E? No E. Oh, but I guess can you use can you use uh apostrophe? Apostrophes no. in, no. in web browsers? No. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, apostrophes makes... don't always connotate ownership. Sometimes it connotates a conjunction of who yes. is who is alive. But then there's whose, like, whose is that? Whose stuff is that? God damn. Yeah. There's whose. Whose stuff is that? Who left who's? all this barf at my doorstep? Yeah. All right, I'm taking it. All right, I'll keep it. Yeah. Don't stink too bad. <laughs> <laughs> if you want it, though, come for real. If you're listening. Speaking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and shouting on a dark street. <laughs> hey, if you want this, just come back tomorrow when I'm awake. God, my vomit. Save it. My vomit stunk the other when I got the horrible food poisoning. My diarrhea uh, stunk. Oh, my vomit no. stunk. Yike. Yeah, I vomited twice in the trash can, diarrhea in the shower. Boosh. Yeah, I didn't have energy to make it to the toilet. Boosh. Miranera. That's the name of the place. I don't want to say <laughs> the actual dude. name, but off of Sixth Street. Miranera. Miranera. <laughs> Marinara, uh, Marinara. Grant, is that Don't barf? throw that out. Is there a beetle in there? Ew. I think it might technically be like a veggie stew, but eh. is there a, is that a gummy bear up there? The red thing looks pretty barfy. Yeah, this, like, this guy up here. And then there's a beetle. Yeah, should we do that a really beetle? quick? You want to send a? You want to do a picture and we guess if it's if it's stew or vomit? Is it stew? Is it vomit? <laughs> so this was what? This was stew. Get the domain too. Is, is it stew or is it? Vomit? I will say technically this is on Wikimedia and it's called vomit on plate. Okay, oh. so it is vomit. But when I download the video, yeah, I don't know. It could be. <laughs> could be vomit. Well, I think it's vomit because there's only one bean. <laughs> right, that makes it's sense. Not a good even spread of, of <laughs> beans. Sense, the bean sure. ratio is pretty low. Yeah, <laughs> there is one lonesome making, gummy bear. We're making vegetable stew. I put one bean in it. <laughs> one one gummy bear. <laughs> Here, what do you guys think of this one? Uh, come on, man. So vomit or stew? Vomit or stew? Uh, don't call me. Don't call me an idiot, man. That's come on. That's yeah. crap. Don't slap my ass and call me a brother. <laughs> yeah, <don't laughs> slap my butt. Call me your. Your brother-in-law. Your brother, brother in law. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Don't get married to my sister and make me a quarterback. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like a movie. No. So, marry my sister and make me a quarterback. My, my, my sister got married and I'm a quarterback. <laughs> yeah. I'm trained as a defensive back. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you understand. I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> oh, shut up. Run 28 sweep. Yeah. Jerk. <laughs> Shh. Sh- <laughs> Where did this come from? Is that what quarterbacks are doing? What are they doing when they're looking at that thing on their arm? Play. Call. They play, yeah, play. Plays. Yeah, play. But they could be watching Hulu on their new Android. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know if it was like a video screen or something. Might be. Hello, quarterback. Ready to play. Press yes to continue. Sink yes. into the into the offensive matrix. <laughs> Off- Do they have microphones? Do they have like? I think they do in their helmets now. I yeah. Think. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably a lot of yeah whispering Psst, don't turn secrets. Around. I'm gonna tackle you. <laughs> Who's on there? <laughs> get off this li- channel. How'd you get on this? Ch- <laughs> Goat. We're going dark. <laughs> Okay, all this looks like vomit, I think. Maybe I, that's that, hard. That one might be a soup. Yeah, the one on the right, maybe a tomato bisque or yeah. tomato soup. <laughs> maybe a squash, soup. yeah. Come <laughs> on, dude. Are you just showing pictures of crap and vomit? You're just... Chili. Chili vomit, though, maybe. It's like a classic fake vomit thing you could put on a table. True. Those are cool. That one is, actually. Whoa. <laughs> that is a classic vomit. Yeah, Ooh, I thought I table. saw yeah. what I knew. I thought I knew what I saw. <laughs> oh, hello, old friend. You know your yes. fake gag vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I always liked the coin. They had a coin that you could fill up with water, and you could go up to your buddy and say, look at this old coin. And they look at it, and you squirt, and it fucking squirts oh, their eyes. I used to damn. love that prank. <laughs> yeah, that's a right, classic. Though. I used the little electro pins a lot. That like shock you? Yeah. That's I used to shock great. people. 
Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I remember the thing of gum, but they had a pen as well. It uh-huh. sounds like. Yeah, I was oh, like, yeah why don't cool. you go write? Why don't you write that down? <laughs> Zap. Do you know how fast you were going? Do you mind to use my pen? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> I think that's what happened in Fargo when he had to end up shooting Ow. the police officer. Mm-hmm. He zapped him. He zapped his ass. He Delicious. just got zapped, officer. <laughs> mm. Take off. I didn't watch Fargo again. I was thinking maybe on the plane flight I'd watch Fargo. The last time I watched Fargo on the way there and then on the way back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he did a double Fargo feature. Double Fargo. So I was thinking about this time, but I was too deep in the Bloons Tower defense. Could you tell I was playing? Did you ever look over to see what I was doing? Brother, I couldn't take my eyes off of it. You were locked in. Is Bloons Pretty the monkey good. one with yeah. the darts? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, I love that one. Woo, it's so fun. Locked in. And you get the little minigun dart thing. Minigun's oh, fun. And all the Bloons... I remember playing it and like uh, I playing it as a kid. My my computer crashed. There was so many balloons. Yeah, it was too many balloons. It was just like you couldn't handle too many pixels. I couldn't process the amount of balloons that I was taking out. <laughs> We're getting f- bombarded. So I had all those. Yeah, I had. I was hitting them with Moabs, dude. I was yeah, the Moabs. I was destroying these balloons. <laughs> yeah, my phone. I end up having to put it. Have to have to put it down on something because it gets so literally hot. It gets really hot <laughs> to the touch, so it can't be good for my cell phone. Does it really? I, I swear it gets ends up I'm getting hot you. to the touch <laughs> when I get the balloons going. I mean, I popped over two billion balloons, so <laughs> I swear it's almost embarrassing on my public stats I have on the thing. It's over. It's like two and a half billion balloons right now. Wow. <laughs> Will you blow on my phone for me? I'm on a real streak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just blow blow over this cup of ice. Just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Damn, so well, Miles, do you have any parting words? I think we're getting to the end of this thing. Thank you so much for coming on our podcast and everything. Any part in parting words or any? What are your thoughts? Well, I guess uh, what I'll start with is uh, thanks for having me. It's been I I mean I had a lovely time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. I had a lovely loved time. Having you. Um, any words of wisdom? Uh, Maybe a younger person who happens to be watching this right now might need to hear it. Uh, just keep following the path of the lily, and maybe a sweet cherry blossom will bloom, and you'll get a kiss. Wow! Oh my gosh, that's a, actually that's I don't want to. Kind of throw you under the bus here, but is that a Jackie Chan quote? I feel like that's a Jackie Chan quote. Guilty. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Guilty. <laughs> I thought I was. I thought you'd be nice about it and just let it. I know. I'm sorry. Not a chance. That's crazy. I'm sorry. I'm just such guys, a big Jackie Chan guy. No, I it's, know. I get it. You guys like to keep it real. We're like Chan fans. Yeah. You. I knew you wouldn't let that one go. Yeah. All right. Cherry blossoms. <laughs> Asian but, people love them. Yeah. There's a lot in Japan. And they're tasty. Uh, Asian people? They're good to eat? Asian people, Asian people? cherry no, blossom. No. <laughs> cherry blossoms. <laughs> Is that where cherries come from? I don't think mm. so. There's no way to tell. Grant, do cherries grow on vines like grapes? Cherries come from cherry blossom trees. Are you out of your mind? I thought you, they grew underground or something like a potato. Like <laughs> Do they grow on trees? They're actually the root of cherry blossom trees. According to what? Wikipedia here. That the is not berry? true. Dude, you're jerking my chain. Yeah. You're slapping me and making me a quarterback. You're jerking off my chain right now. You're jerking off my wide receiver. So it grows in the root system. The cherries, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, cherries. it says cherries come from the root system of cherry blossom trees. How are they so ripe? What are you on? Yeah. What are you on? Notrealfacts.com? <laughs> yeah, what are you on bullshit.gov? <laughs> 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 you blowing oh, sp- blowing smoke dot edu, you freaking jackass. <laughs> well, yeah, we learned something new. I guess the like, cherries grow in the. You were right, actually, based on what he said. Yeah, There's no way they that's grow right, underground though. like potatoes. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they're real delicate, though. Yeah. What about moles, Grant? What the hell? Yeah. Oh, I bet they love them. Mm, yeah. I'm- just rooting around jackpot. Can, mol- can moles really not see? I, hope I think not. some of them can't. But you're probably all right because you're just digging around in the ground. I yeah. think they can't see because it's just so dark, and then they come up and it's like, ah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. But they can see. They must be. I don't able think they to. have eyes. Some of them. Some of them don't have a no eye. Just noses. Some of them have star nose. Star nose. Oh yeah, I've seen the star nose moles before. Pretty cute. Those are <laughs> the sweetest little thing. I'd love to big, give big, one of big, them big, a kiss. Big, big, big. <laughs> Dig, 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 dig. Have fun in the mud. Yeah. Look at that guy. Look at those eyes. You're telling me that guy can't see nothing? He has his little popos. You're telling me that guy has cancer? I thought that's what you were about to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't see anything. <laughs> Sir, your mole has lung you didn't cancer. Tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> like Chadwick Boseman. <laughs> yeah. A little sad. Look at his sweet little hands. Moles forever. <laughs> yeah, we love them. Well, Miles, thanks so much for being on the show today, dude. Where can people find you? You can find me because uh, uh, we did your TikTok. What was your TikTok again? Sauce Fearer. Yes, Sauce I think Fuhrer. I deleted it, but okay. They just wouldn't have me. Uh, I'm on Instagram. I'm Miles the Black Guy. Miles with a Y. Love it. And Miles and if you want to see me in person. I'll be at um I'll be at the comedy mothership and I work there. <laughs> Perfect. Miles is a great comedian. He's so funny. Yeah, Miles is a wonderful comedian and he was so sweet to come on the show because I think Miles and I have had kind of a beef. I was the one vomiting some in the mothership. And is I, that you? That yeah, sense. and I think I it's always so <laughs> awkward when I'm around you because it's like, does Miles know it's my fucking ass? So <laughs> Your ass has been I'm glad at least everywhere. at the end we could get that up so it's not awkward for me at least anymore because I always feel kind of awkward. I'm like, does Miles know? He's, there's no way he can know it's me. I don't mind it. I'm, I actually actually it makes it a little better knowing it comes from a friend. Okay, <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My I'm buddy's a- been really sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's not vomit. He's my brother. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, Miles, thanks so much for being on the show, dude. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. Goodbye. See you later. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. And never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and check him out live at the Comedy Mothership in Austin, Texas every Monday night. Find more of me, Casey Rocket, at patreon.com slash Casey Rocket. Follow me on Instagram at Casey Rocket. This episode of the William Montgomery Show was recorded at Record ATX Studios right here in the heart of Austin, Texas. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery. The anthem is sung by William Montgomery. The drums are sung by William Montgomery. The words are sung by William Montgomery. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh, the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.